Can you guess how much my whole outfit costs? Just clothes. Uh, Go for it. Your coat Total number. Nine hundred. Nine hundred. Nine hundred. Under a hundred dollars. Shut up. Oh. Really? Hey everyone, this video is a little different than the usual. I'm collaborating with Fashion Nova Men's today. So what I did was I picked out four different outfits that I thought were cool and each outfit kind of represents a different neighborhood in New York. Williamsburg, Lower East Side, and Soho. So I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna ask random people on the street to see if they can tell whether I'm wearing expensive clothes or affordable Fashion Nova Men's. I will also leave all the links to my pieces down below. So let's go around New York. All right, before we get this Fashion Nova men's makeover going, I am proud to say that during quarantine, I developed a new set of skills. Okay, so for outfit number one, let's start with Williamsburg, AKA Willie B. I got white crew socks above my essential chucks to give that, you know, adult kid style that is very popular for hipsters. I got raw cut active shorts cut above the knees and they're mad comfortable, but I am always afraid of my phone sliding out of my pocket. So I'm gonna make sure I got a lot of pockets up top. So starting on my top, I got a curved hem pocket tee, keeping it loose and lightweight. And then I got the Judd denim jacket, which has a corduroy collar. That's just add something different. Um, this is really mixing kind of like that trucker style with California skate. And I know that it looks cool and all, and it's kind of like ironic, but really my favorite aspect though, is that it has a lot of good pockets. A lot of solid pockets. That means there's a lot of utility. You can carry anything in this jacket. So the jacket was about $45, shorts were 30, T was 15. That comes out to be about $90 for that outfit. So number two is gonna be the artist outfit. I have olive cargos with lots of great pocket flaps, lots of room around the legs, but they end off with the tapered ankles. I'm definitely gonna rock no-shows, and if you don't have no-show socks, just fold down your ankle socks like you did in seventh grade. It works fine. So up top, I got this distress drop shoulder tee. It's oversized and has huge rips, you know, to give it some edge. And for a guy like me that doesn't have tattoos, earrings, or really significant facial hair, I can use all the edge I can get. So that's another thing to think about when it comes to outfits outfits and how it matches your overall look. Anyways, this jacket is called the straight ball and denim jacket. You kind of have this cool Japanese inspired tiger embroidery on the back, giving it some culture, giving it a big logo, a face, something that people can look at, just something that catches their eye. So for this price, it's totally worth it. Guys, the pants are about $40, shirt is 25, jacket is 50. This comes out to be 115. So for such an eye catching outfit, it's really not that much money. So I actually have two different outfits for Williamsburg, but after I take photos of each, I'm gonna post them up on my IG stories and let my followers decide. The cargo outfit. So that's what I'm wearing. I'm out in East Williamsburg. I'm outside of a new highly ranked cafe called Mountain Province. It is really fusing like authentic Filipino flavors and kind of a Filipino grocery store into a coffee shop. This is probably only something you might find in Williamsburg because it is pretty hipster. So uh, man, I'm pretty excited though. It's highly ranked and they got some good sandwiches and some amazing avocado toast. This is the ube cream bun. So basically there's ube jam inside of this roll and then it has like butter and sugar on top. This is definitely something that reminds me of something that I would get at like Red Ribbon or Goldilocks. Sweet, buttery, got the ube flavor. If you know anything about Filipino rolls, they're very good, very tasty, but probably high in calories. I'm about to wash the ube roll down with this coconut caramel latte. Joe told me that this is the most Filipino latte on the menu. I feel that where it's like got the coconut milk in there with the caramel sweetness, it's pretty good. Okay, so here we got one of the staples of Williamsburg, which is avocado toast. And I know some people out there are like, oh man, avocado toast for $11, that's, that's a lot of money. But I will say this, this is probably, and maybe the best avocado toast in the city. The avocado toast is probably like the symbol of like a gentrified Williamsburg. You guys know us, we spent a lot of time in the Lower East Side, so, you know, when I got my Williamsburg outfit on, I felt like I just had to come to Williamsburg. All right, here we got the Longanisa breakfast sandwich. Man, this looks like some elevated Jollibees right now. Yo, that is actually really good. All right, this dish is very Williamsburg in the fact that, you know, I'm pretty sure uh, for a lot of the hipsters moving, they weren't eating frittatas, but this is a fried egg frittata breakfast sandwich. Mm. 
sweetness, egginess. Yo, this was really good. John, for a Mongolian guy, I'm very surprised you love frittatas, but you gotta try it, man. Just feels right. Just feels right. Could you could you say something in Mindanao? Mountain Province, Brooklyn. So for dessert, they actually just gave us their mango avocado smoothie with calamansi juice. It's basically taking the best elements of an avocado smoothie, which is very popular in Southeast Asia, but then tying in the calamansi and the mango. All right, guys, we're here on Bedford Ave in Williamsburg, and this is like the main street. And I would say, you know, in Williamsburg, the type of people that you'll typically see are people who definitely don't look like they're trying to be part of the corporate world or have your typical nine to five. A lot of them are freelance. Obviously, you know, with this outfit, we kind of classified it as the Williamsburg outfit because maybe this particular you know, clothing style, especially with the ripped shirt, is not really gonna be what you would wear if you work a corporate job. What's going on, everybody? I'm here with Dylan and Chloe. Okay, you guys hang out in Williamsburg a lot? Yeah. I just wanna ask you, like, about my outfit. What do you guys think about it? It's just, like, very trendy and clean, yeah. How much do you think, if you had to just guesstimate, how much do you think this outfit costs, I minus the shoes? 400. What would you say about my outfit? Like, does it, does it kind of fit in the area? It looks real hipster. Yeah. If you had to guess, put a price on just the clothing, maybe minus the shoes. Uh, Let's do it. Yeah, I'll do it 360. Uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, okay. 200, 250? Okay, 200, 250. I would say at least three. Okay, at least 300. Yeah. Not gonna lie, it was under 100 because this is all Fashion Nova men's. Oh, damn. <laughs> it looks nice though. I like the fit. I yeah. Like the coordination. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What I like about my outfit right now is that it's very pan Williamsburg. Everything from the ultra gentrified to the 50 50s to the old Brooklyn. I think I'm good anywhere. All right, so we went from the Filipino hipster cafe to now I'm at a Caribbean food truck. Got a little bit of jerk chicken, rice, and plantains. Hey man, it's hard to find this in the city. It's still Brooklyn. All right, we have made it to Orchard Street in the Lower East Side. And Orchard Street is actually very famous for having a lot of like small but very respectable streetwear brands. And these aren't necessarily brands that, you know, uh, your casual hype beasts will be familiar with necessarily. But for people who have been keeping up with streetwear for at least 15 to 20 years, you're gonna like Orchard Street. All right, guys, I'm here with Brandon. Uh, Brandon, you hang on the LES a lot, right? Yes, sir. How would you describe like the LES streetwear style? Uh, like, I'd say like grungy. Uh, athleisure forward. Okay. Um, a lot of black. Okay. Could you guess how much my whole outfit costs minus the shoes? 320. 320. Yo, I'm not even gonna lie. It's fashion over men's. It's like sub 100. It's probably like $70 outfit. The whole the whole fit? Yeah, the whole fit. Oh, word. It's that cheap. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I doubled that. Thank you, bro. It's a pleasure, man. Appreciate it. Okay, so like Brandon said, the LES is either grungy skate influenced streetwear or athleisure. And I'm gonna be going with athleisure for this one. The joggers are cool and I could have gone more casual, but I like pockets, secure pockets. And up top I have a mauve colored hoodie, meaning it's like a purplish color, which is based off of a flower. And basically this is that, you know, I'm active, I can run and jump. Uh, and I probably hoop, but I also have a job type vibe. I'm also a fan of the raw cut bottom of the hoodie, so it doesn't kind of have that tapered look. Um, it just kind of sits straight. And uh, yeah, basically this hoodie looks like it could easily cost $200. It looks like it comes from a more expensive brand. Uh, the hoodie was $35, pants were 25. So this outfit was super cheap, $60. All right, one of the things that I love about the LES is sauce pizza. So it's very fitting that if I'm in my LES outfit in the LES, I got to get it. This is the upside down slice where that means there's cheese on the bottom and then there's sauce and breadcrumbs on top. That's good pizza. Look at that crust. This is a Al Pastor. So it has like the Pastor right there with the um, pickled onions and the jalapenos on top. I swear there's little bits of pineapple in there too. Okay, so on to outfit number four. This is my New York Fashion Week fit. Starting with the pants, I have size 34 black denim tapered at the bottom. I could have done 33, but you know, I make food videos, so I needed extra room. Curved hem pocket tee up top. Um, underneath, the pullover gray hoodie. Um, and then on top, I have this black smart guy overcoat. It was important to get the overcoat in a medium for it to fit snug because sometimes the difference between making something look $40 or $400 is just a fit. 
So $65 for the coat, $30 for the tapered jeans, and $30 for the hoodie. That's about $125. Yeah, that is the most expensive outfit I had today, but it did also have the most layers and the most clothing, you know, to be honest. So, you know, considering how much it costs versus how much people might guess it costs, it's really not that much. All right, so minus the shoes. Okay. How much do you think the whole outfit is? 180. 180? 782. <laughs> 200? 250. You sure? 250? 250? That's your final answer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you guess how much my whole outfit costs? Just close. Uh, Go for it. Your coat. Total number. 900. Yes. 900. 900. Under $100. Shut up. Oh. Really? You have style. Fashion over men. I mean, you would say like you have a different image when you think of fashion over right, men, right? Right. Yeah. But this, this is how you can do it. All right, everybody, that wraps it up for our Fashion Nova men's haul. Shout out to them for sponsoring the video. I know that is not a usual video that we do, but it was actually really cool because it made me get out of the house, talk to people, and it was actually fun to try to make outfits with Fashion Nova to trick people into thinking that they were a lot more expensive than they were. You know, it just goes to show you that fit means a lot, and you can make these pieces all look like they're at least $100, $200, if not more. It really goes to show you guys the diversity and the selection that Fashion Nova Men's actually has if you take your time and look through the website. I mean, they have new stuff all the time and it's just about finding the right pieces and you can really put together a super classy outfit. Guys, if you guys are interested, please click on that link below. I will actually have all my pieces to all the outfits listed down below in the description if you guys wanna buy any. So guys, in the comments down below, please do two things. Let me know which one of my outfits was your favorite which one you think I pulled off the best, and also which neighborhood in New York is your favorite. It doesn't have to be one that I went to. I'm not gonna lie. I am wearing a lot of layers. I am kinda hot right now, so I gotta go get a drink. All right, until next time, I'm out. Peace. Okay. Yo, let me tell you, he is chefing up some food back here. That's my the, name is, that was the... Yeah. My name is Ray Luna. Ray Luna. I'm my partner, Joe, Joe Toronto. My partner, my son.